Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. Now, I've covered several remote access applications to allow you to access your Mac from your iPad or iPhone, the last one being only a month or two ago. However, this week I stumbled upon Parallels Access. This remote access application is totally unique in its approach, and I really wanted to show it to you as, unless you see it in action, it's really quite difficult to appreciate just what it does. When using large monitors, I always have an issue with remote access apps, as the desktop is either too large on the iPad display, or you have to zoom in and scroll around, and neither is desirable. However, Parallels Access gets around both these issues. Across on the App Store, just done a quick search for Parallels. Uh, we've come up with Parallels Access. It's a universal application. It's a free application. You'll notice if you go into the reviews, there are quite a few poor reviews for the All Versions tab. Uh, on checking, that seems to be mainly price. It looks as though uh, it used to be very expensive, but they've dropped the price now. You do need to have, although it's a free app, you do need to have um, a web account with Parallels Access, and that's currently $19.99 per year. I actually got it cheaper than that because I stumbled across this when I went to upgrade my Parallels Desktop, the uh, virtual machine environment. I upgraded to Parallels Desktop 10, and they provided um, a cheap option to get a two-year uh, contract with Parallels Access, so I just went for it, but uh, quite surprised at its capabilities. So the things you need, there are three aspects to it. There's the iOS app, it's universal, it's free, you can download it. You need to sign up for a web account, although you can sign up for a free account to try it out, and then there is some client software that you need to install on your Mac. So what I'm going to do, I've got this already downloaded. Uh, I have got an account that I've signed up for on my main machine, but I'm going to sign up for a the usual thing, a normal demo account, and we'll just uh, go through the whole process. So uh, you can either sign in or you can register. So I'm going to register. So I'm going to register with my SEO demo account. Now there are options to sign in with Facebook or sign in with Google. I'm not too sure about those. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, have a standard account. There is a terms of use you might want to check out, but uh, once we've done that, if I just tap back on the password field and say go, we should register for a free account. So welcome screen, we'll swipe left to get started. So it sent me a setup email, and we're going to open it on the Mac or PC, follow the instructions, and then I will uh, come back to the iPad. Okay, so I've just popped across to the Mac and to the standard mail account, and I've had three emails actually from Parallels. I want to activate my account, so I'm going to go ahead and activate. And we'll say continue. Right, and it's actually logged me in to the Parallels web service, the Parallels Access web service. I uh, don't need to change any of this. That's all fine. I can hear some more emails coming in, in the background. We'll pop that down. Okay, so that's activated. We've now also got an email to download the Parallels Access agent. So if I tap on there. So this is the software that I need to install on the Mac. So we're currently in trial mode. I can buy a subscription from here if I want, but I just need to go to Downloads, download the Parallels Access Agent for Mac or Windows. So the one I want is this one here, so I'm going to download that. And then I'll install that separately. Let's just go back to email for now. Uh, what else have I got? I've got, um, oh yeah, some information to say that it's been logged in. Uh, my mobile device, my iPad's been uh, logged into Parallels Access. And then I've also got this option here which is telling me that my account is ready to use. Now to speed things up a little, I won't go through the uh, running of the disk installation. So with the usual stuff, open the disk image file, run the installation package. But I've already uh, downloaded, installed, so I'm just gonna run it here. So if I just run Parallels Access, I'll just drag that on screen for you. Okay, so I now need to sign in using my Parallels account. So the SEO Demo 3 account I just set up, and we'll say sign in. Okay, so this is my Mac Pro. As you can see, it's accessible. Uh, I can turn off access if I want to. Now I have the option to go to my account settings on the web and change those. I also have the option here to go into advanced. Log in automatically with my Parallels account where you probably want to set that on. As for my OS X username and password as well. So if you want an extra level of security, you can check that. And you can either lock the computer when working remotely or lock the computer once you've finished working remotely. Participate in the customer experience program 
check for updates, use detailed log messages, and more importantly, start Parallels Access when I log into OS X. The last thing you want to do is when you're away from your machine uh, is to realize that you haven't actually loaded the client software, or at least how it started. So I'll leave those as is. And you noticed up at the top we have a menu bar icon. I can turn off Access from here, go into My Preferences, check for updates, etc. Before I switch back to the iPad, what I think I'll do is install the client application on another Mac so that it doesn't interfere with my recording of the screencast. So I'll go ahead and install the Parallels Access client over on my MacBook Pro. And then once I've done that, I'll come back across to the iPad and we'll take it from there. So back across over on the iPad within Parallels Access and I can see my two machines. Now I can see the Mac Pro that I've installed the client on and also the MacBook Pro as well. Now before I tap on one of these to access uh, the desktops of those machines, the desktops themselves are running at full resolution, so the desktops uh, are, are quite high. If I was to use a normal remote access package, I'd probably see the desktop with very tiny, tiny icons, a tiny menu bar, and it'd be quite difficult to actually move around without zooming in or scrolling. But watch what happens when I go to the MacBook Pro. If I tap on here, to get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14 day no obligation free trial screencasts online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14 day free trial membership.